morning, sisters and brothers in Christ, and welcome to St. Patrick of Marriage. We are glad that you have chosen to worship the Lord with us. If you are new to the parish, we invite you to register at the parish office or on the website. Before we begin the Mass, may we request everyone to please silence your mobile phones and expose ourselves for this sacred celebration. Let us include in our prayers at this Mass the following intentions for the eternal repose of the soul of Paul Miller. Today we celebrate the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our desire today is for the Olai Pantilla. Today's readings can be found on the Let Us Celebrate booklet on page 46. Please arise and let us sing the anchor song. No, again, we find number 617, Bless the Lord, number 627. Mercy and forgiveness. 
Lord Jesus, you restore the dead to their families. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you restore the dead to the sea. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you reconcile your people with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Number 41, I will praise you, Lord. 
with you. And with your spirit. And reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus came cross again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him. He stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue's officials named Jairus came forward. Since he began to and feed and prayed earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come and lay your hands on her, that she might get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him and pressed upon him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhage for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and she had spent all that she had. Yes, she not get help that only grew worse. She had she had heard about Jesus and came out behind him in the crowd. He touched his clothes. She said, but if, but I can touch his clothes, I should be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her, in her body that she was healed by her affliction. It's so word at once that power had gone out from him. Turn around in the crowd and ask, Who has touched my clothes? The three disciples said to Jesus, you see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and yet it was, who touched me? And looking around to see who had done it, the woman realizes that it happened to her. Approaching fear and trembling, she fell down, down before Jesus, told him in the whole truth. He said to her, Dorian, your faith can save you. Go in peace and cure of your, of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. Did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house, the synagogue official took out sight of commotion. People weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but the state. And they believed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother, and those who were with him, and entered, entered into the room where the child was. He took the child by, by the hand and said to her, Talita Kum, which means, Little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl and child who dwelt arose immediately and walked around. And they were securely standing. He gave a strict order that no one should know this and said that that should, that should be given something to eat. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today we have heard a two story story of the gospel today. The story of Jairus, whose son or whose daughter is sick at the point of death, and the story of a woman who was afflicted with hemorrhage for twelve years. As I was reading this again and again, I said, maybe it will make more sense if we can go back and ask ourselves the same question. If we ever have had the experience of having the depressing experience in our lives where difficulties, challenges, illness, pain, and suffering 
have come to our lives. Has there been any of those circumstances that we have experienced? And maybe it would even matter before God if we add another third story to the two stories that were really already mentioned in the Gospel today. I would like to jump first to the second story of the Gospel today. That woman afflicted with hemorrhage. Prophet would say, what about this woman having this hemorrhage problem? What about? We probably don't, don't, don't care about this that much, but for them this is not just a physical problem, but also a religious problem for this Jewish people. The moment that this happens to a woman, anything connected to this woman's activities will consider unclean or sinful. It means to say that you are either discriminated or pushed away if you have this kind of difficulties physically. You cannot even go to the temple to pray and neither of those people around you who touches you, like this time is trying to touch Jesus. That will mean to say Jesus too will not be able to enter the temple for prayers. Illness for them is a sign of evil. This is why they are being discriminated, put away from the practices in the temple. The first story of Jairus and his daughter is also at the same time, in a way, not so different from the story of this woman. Probably the father and the mother of this girl were kept inside the house. They could hardly go and do their prayers themselves. Simply because they had to spend their time to their dying daughter. It's the reason why I have asked you at the very beginning, has there been this kind of depressing moments in your life? you yourself have been challenged by difficulties, pain, suffering that limits you from doing your social duties, from being able to come to the church for prayer and even sometimes give you that sense of telling yourself probably God doesn't even listen to my prayers anymore. My mom, my dad, my daughter, my son are ill. Where is God? What is God doing with the prayers that I've been telling him? Today's gospel is not the story of this sense of doubting. Today's Gospel is a story of hope. The woman with hemorrhage wanted to touch. She says, if only I can touch even the tassels of his clothes, I will be well again. And it's not just being physically well again. Finally, he will find himself not rejected by his own family and community. Look at the story of this child. When they saw that the daughter was dead, they were laughing at Jesus. They said, why invite the master? Why invite the teacher to come to your house? He could have come earlier, then you could have saved the daughter. He said, get away. You are not 
understanding what this calling is all about. You have no hope in your hearts. If I close my eyes right now, I probably will remember a couple of the times when these difficult moments in my life had happened, and even those moments when I had been walking around this church because I was praying for a very special intention. During those times, it really is draining my energy, my faith, and my strength. Asking myself, do I have that faith strong enough to bear this difficulty? But the woman, Jairus, never lost hope. Continued and they said, Lord, come. Lord, come. Probably that will be our prayer today. Not just, Lord, come, but Lord, come and touch us. By allowing this Jesus to come and touch us, it, He brings the goodness of God back to our own lives. That's probably the reason why many a time we lose that hope whenever we are in those difficult days. We don't have the touch of Jesus. We cannot feel anymore a caring and a loving God in our lives. And so we lose hope. Touch us, Lord, we will pray. The difference when the devil touches our hearts, the devil who tears us away from believing and knowing that God is there with us. The devil who separates us from others and from the people that we care for and from our belief in this God. And so Jesus comes to them and says, Your faith has saved you. Or in another way of saying, we believe and now we receive what we have asked for. Think. What are the things that you need today? Break these prayers with no doubt to this God. Help this God to open your hearts that you may trust the Lord. Come to him today and say, Lord, be with me as I come to you in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand and together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord the Father and for all ages, God and God, life and life, true God from true God, the God is not made, of the Sabbath of the God, through all things for me, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, as of the Garden of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and their conscious life. He suffered death as he was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and seated in my right hand for a moment, and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will be have no man. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one who will be Catholic and 
Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We come to God with our concerns, confident that our petition will be heard. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For months, months, my necessaries in company, may they grow in holiness and, num and number. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who serve in the public office, may they take up on the law uh, faithfully and govern wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For some are traveling, may they travel safely and find the Creator and the beauty of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. For our, for our nation celebrated Independence Day, may they may we live in the Christian ideal in which was found and remembered our, our dependence on God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. For the members of this assembly, may they visit the sick and find healing themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray. Very special attention for Paul Miller, a general address, and all the parishioners. Let us pray to the Lord. God of life and the living, you make the, all that has breath. We offer you our prayers. Hear us and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Always and everywhere give you thanks, 
Lord Almighty, Father Almighty, and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form men and women in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty words through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Our hope and place our vision. 
Though there are bishops, so the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. This is graciously to the prayers of this family that we have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you. The passing from these lives we can admittance to your kingdom. There we hope that you forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.